If you've never worked on an 886 before or used to working on more modern vehicles, I think one of the things that people tend to find uh, the most awkward or challenging or different of like the regular maintenance items is the front brakes and wheel bearing setup. Because on modern cars, you typically have a wheel bearing and a hub that are pressed together. You bolt, you unbolt it off the car and you bolt on a new one. Really easy. But with A86s, you've got a spindle that's a part of the strut, and then you've got a brake rotor that's bolted to the hub, and the hub only has one main nut in the middle holding it all on, and when you undo it, there's a bunch of grease in there. So I figured I would take this opportunity to be able to show you how to change the front brakes, or at least the front brake rotors, as well as how to replace your wheel bearings and get that all set up uh, for the front end of your A86. The first step after getting the car up on some jack stands and the front wheels pulled off is going to be to remove the front brake calipers and caliper brackets from the strut. Next we pop off the dust cap. Next step is to remove the cotter pin which holds the nut and everything together for the spindle and the hub. I use a set of side cutters that makes it easy to grab it and pry and pull it out. Then we remove the lock nut and the nut itself that holds everything together. At this point, the hub should come off fairly easily, and then I like to put the hardware right back on so I don't lose it. Once we have everything off, the first thing that we'll need to do is remove the wheel seal so we can gain access to remove the inner bearing. And to be able to do that, you just use this seal puller tool pretty straightforward. Now to remove the races, you just use a punch and a hammer. I'm gonna get inside on the lip, right in there on the lip of the race and hammer it out. There's notches on the other side, that's where you're gonna use your punch at, it's gonna be here and here. Uh, we're going to do the same thing with the inner race. Get the inner all the way out. You got to set it up off a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and clean it up a little bit and pound in the new races. I bought these in a bearing and race set. So we're going to set the bearing aside and use that later. Pound this guy in. Gotta find the right size race driver. That's the one. Races in. Before we grease up the bearings, I want to swap the rotors over um, to get nice clean rotors, and then we'll do that. Since the rotors are like pressed onto the hub, we're going to use a wheel to be able to pry them off. We got four 14 millimeter bolts on the back side. You gotta jam your pry bar in here and just pry up on it. Ugh. There's our hub all off the rotor. Oh, there's a spider on that. Ah! Now we've got that on there. We'll definitely want to break clean out these fresh races that we just put in because um, they got some dirt and dust on it. But now we should be able to get the new rotors and bolt them on. The new rotors just slide right on because there's no more crud. So now you got to get all four bolts in. And the internet tells me the torque spec on these is 29 to 40 foot pounds, so we're gonna shoot in the middle for 35. Okay. Now we grease the bearings. 
packing the bearings with grease. So if you've never used one of these before, they're super, super duper handy and make packing wheel bearings very easy. <laughs> oh, this is gross. And that bearing is nice and packed with grease now. Bloop. That guy's packed with grease. Let me drop one of those freshly packed bearings in here. And then we install the wheel seal. There we go. I like to add a little bit of grease to the spindle before I put it on just to make sure everything is nice and lubricated. And sometimes I add a little bit more to the bearing itself. Now this is where things start to get a little tricky. I've done a lot of wheel bearings on spindle front ends, so I've got a pretty good feel for when I know that it's tight enough. There is a torque spec for this, but it's kind of difficult to measure it. So what I do is I tighten it up, and, I, and then I spin it, and get the grease moving, and then I tighten it up some more, and I spin it, until I feel that as I tighten it too much, it starts to drag a little bit, and then I back it off just like a quarter turn or an eighth of a turn. New cutter pin is in, and now we're gonna use those same side cutters or diagonal cutters to be able to pry up the ends of the cotter pin to secure it. And just for good measure, a little bit of grease in the cap. As we go back Together with the brakes, something to think about is this is a good opportunity to paint your brake calipers and caliper bracket or do some upgrades like stainless steel braided lines. Brake rotors typically come with a grease or some type of coating on this to prevent contamination and corrosion. And so before you put your pads on, you got to make sure to clean it off. That's what I'm doing here with the brake clean, the front and back sides. Uh, otherwise, if you don't, you're going to contaminate your brake pads and you won't have very good brakes. Make sure to grease up your brake caliper slide pins with some good brake grease. And that's it, you're done. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share, all that stuff. Also check out my channel, I've got a lot more 886 tutorial, DIY kind of stuff, and uh, well, adventures with both of my A86s. Thanks for watching.